I also am a mathematician for the last 34 years. I am a former math teacher. I am on the executive board of the Association of Math Teachers of New Jersey. I work per diem for the New Jersey Department of Ed. I also work per diem as a math consultant and work with many New Jersey districts throughout the state. Ridgewood is one of them. I do workshops on many math topics. I do a Singapore math workshop. That's one of the ones. I have studied Japanese math with Dr. Makoto Yoshida, and I'm very knowledgeable as I've been in the field of education for 34 months. I'm an avid believer that math reform programs are the way to teach and learn mathematics. The question I've heard through blogging and newspaper articles is why? Why should we have math reform math programs? Well, I just agree with the last speaker. One of the things that have changed in the last 50 years is the fact that because we live in a democracy, our classrooms are very diversified now. We have learners that work at the bottom of the learning triangle where they're constructive learners. We have learners <coughs> that work in the symbolic middle stage. And then we have abstract learners. And I know Richwood probably is filled with a lot of abstract learners, as you do very successful with all of your test scores. But because of diversity, we can't teach mathematics perhaps the way we did before the last 50 years. We have to try to meet the needs. The whole government has said, instead of just teaching to the elite advanced, let's teach to the whole uh, curriculum, all three learners. And let's have a balanced approach. Balance is by far the most important thing. Let's hit every level. And let's move the student from the one level of learning where they are to the next. And since we're all so diversified and so different, we all can't be this disciplined mathematician. Now, obviously, the very elite mathematicians that win Nobel Prizes do work in the op operate in the advanced. And we wish we all could. That would be marvelous. However, that's not reality. Though we want to get everybody to that point, in elementary school and middle school, that's the time to develop that discipline, that mathematical thinking. The world has changed, as Mr. Moran said earlier. Think about your communication. How do you communicate now compared to the 50s? Think of your phone. Think of your computers. Think of transportation. Think of where you travel to now. Did you go to space back before the 50s? Think of women. Did they need to know mathematics? Did they need to know science back in the 50s? We have to change our curriculum because our needs are so much more demanding right now. What is math reform? It substantially has proven. It's not an experiment. Any of these programs have to have gone through five rigorous years of field testing. There's plenty of documentation to document it. See me, I have a lot of the data. Data is my thing. It substantially raises the level of mathematical thinking and reasoning of students. It promotes long-term retention of mathematical concepts, process, and skills. That is the number one problem with mathematics today. I guess in Ridgewood, everybody loves mathematics, but generally speaking, you hear parents always say, I hate mathematics. I couldn't do mathematics. Kids are like, oh, it's hard. We can't do it. No, it's not. Not if it's taught properly. It really can be taught so there's long-term retention. It's not retention for the moment when the test is given. The reason, because it connects mathematical ideas within units, across units, and across grade levels. And this is the kind of connection we need to understand mathematics so we can go forward with the mathematical demands of our country. No, we weren't terrific in mathematics. I don't know where that data came from. The Tim's report in 1990 showed that we were 23rd out of 20, uh, 20th out of 23rd countries of the planet that volunteered to see how we were doing in grades 4 and 8 in mathematics and science. Thanks to math reform products in the United States, New Jersey's very late coming to this, by the way, we have now moved up to number 8 out of the world. So no, our mathematics wasn't terrific, and we're doing a really good job bringing it up. When we tested all special needs ESL and the general student in Ridgewood last year, in grade three, 97.2% of all students met proficiency in mathematics. 53.8, more than half, met advanced proficiency. That is unbelievable, working for New Jersey Department of Ed. For grade four, it was 97.9 at proficiency, 70% at advanced proficiency. Grade five, 95.9 at proficiency, 54.7 at advanced proficiency. Actually, we would like you to teach the rest of the state how you do so well in mathematics. Obviously, this math program is working. Thank you.